Small dogs possess two advantages over their larger doggy peers. They're adorable, and if necessary, you can take them anywhere. But just being easy to look at and easy to transport doesn't necessarily make them easy to care for. Let's shine the spotlight on 10 easy small dog breeds. If you're wondering what makes them easy, it's easy to say that it depends on the dog. If getting an Australian Terrier interests you, you should know a few things beforehand. They're spunky, confident, courageous, stubborn, it's a Terrier thing, and they're exceptionally easy to train. Australian Terriers are such quick studies because they're alert and eager to win a few brownie points from their favorite person. As Terriers, it's only natural that their working and obedience intelligence are above the curve. With a thirst for adventure and seemingly boundless energy, the miniature pincer is a magnet for dirty, icky, and downright sticky situations. Good thing grooming this pup is as easy as one, two, three, literally. The basic formula for grooming a min pen includes bathing. Your min pen will only need to be wiped down with a warm, wet washcloth every few days or so. Brushing, keep your wee pup's coat healthy. Brush it once or twice a week with a grooming mitt or soft bristle brush. And dental hygiene. To get rid of bacteria, plaque, and tartar, make sure to brush your men pen's teeth about twice a week. See? Easy peasy. At merely 7 to 9 pounds, the Affin Pincher's bold brass personality rivals larger canines. The Affin Pincher exemplifies the big dog in a small body. Good thing they don't eat like big dogs. Since they need less than half a cup of food a day, split into two meals, feeding your Affin Pincer will be easy on your back and your wallet. You can skip the heavy bags of vittles and instead opt for lighter packages with smaller prices. You'll save money. Hey, cha-ching! Fun fact, the Affin Pincer is the ancestor of both the Brussels Griffin and Miniature Schnauzer. Check out more about the also easy Miniature Schnauzer in the description. The French Bulldog can be called the couch potato of small dog breeds. Unlike many dogs that need at least two short walks and one free play session every day, Frenchies deal well with short strolls to the neighborhood. It's not that they're lazy, it's because they physically can't. Frenchies have a brachycephalic facial structure, making it difficult for them to inhale enough oxygen when they exercise. In turn, the dog tires quickly and is left vulnerable to overheating. That's why it's essential that your Frenchie not be overexercised. That said, Frenchies are prone to excessive weight gain, so they must get some form of exercise every day. Luckily, it's not all that bad for you either. Chihuahuas have a reputation for being, well, pains. But Chihuahuas and their people seem to be okay with this notoriety, as their actual physical problems are few. For this reason, we've named them the small breed that's easiest to keep healthy. Love them or hate them, the Chihuahua overall is one of the healthiest small dog breeds around. Although they look fragile, most Chihuahuas have a lifespan of between 15 and 20 years. Why, you ask? Well, it's in the genes. Chihuahuas aren't prone to congenital health problems common for other canines, such as heart disease, diabetes, epilepsy, and blood disorders. The leading cause of health issues and death for these little Velcro dogs is injury due to accidents caused by shadowing the humans. <laughs> go figure. Beagles and children go together like salt and pepper, peanut butter and jelly, and, well, Snoopy and Charlie Brown. Their playfulness, curiosity, and unbridled energy are perfect for curious, energetic, adventurous kids from tots to teens. Your beagle may be small, but they're sturdy enough to tolerate a little roughhousing now and then from their rambunctious human siblings, whom they will protect regardless of how wild things might get. Not only will your pal be loyal to you, they'll be just as devoted to your kids, viewing them not as mere humans, but fellow pack members. Hmm, pack mates. Explains a lot about Chuck and Snoopy's relationship. When you think of toy breeds, what usually comes to mind is the stereotypical, hyperactive, yappy dog. Still, the English Toy Spaniel, also known as the King Charles Spaniel, not Cavalier, possesses an unmatched, easygoing personality. If you're a laid-back, single, or older adult, the E.T. makes a great companion because they are most content in a peaceful environment with few visitors. 
Overall, they get along with other canines but can be timid when interacting with strangers. If hiking or biking isn't your thing, the English toy is your dog. A brachycephalic breed, they need minimal exercise and will be more than happy to curl up in your lap and binge watch your favorite shows with you. But if you're looking for a lap dog that will double as a watchdog, then keep looking. Your ET will likely only be good for watching a burglar walk off with your stuff. Fun fact, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a descendant of the English Toy Spaniel. Breeders had crossbred English Spaniels with pugs, which were very popular in the 19th century. The Cavalier was an effort to restore the lines and depug the King Charles Spaniel. One can describe the Cairn Terrier as friendly and cheerful, but they're also quite rugged and independent, as terriers are. And it's this resilience and self-reliance that makes them easy to leave at home while you're out bringing home the bacon. The Cairn Terrier knows there's no place like home, but more on that later. Sure, it's safe to say that all dogs would prefer to be by their owner's side at all times, but if you work outside the home, that's an impossible dream. Like other breeds, the Karen desires to be near his people. They just handle being left to their own devices, and your device is a bit better. Fun fact, film producers paid a Karen Terrier named Terry $125 a week to play Toto in the classic film The Wizard of Oz. The Bajon Frise is a bouncy little ball of fluff that's too cute for its own good. Between the soft white curls and teddy bear face, there's more than enough reason to fall in love with this adorable furball. But good looks aside, there are other reasons the Bajon is easy to love. Who says beauty and brains can't coexist? Not the Bajon. This breed is quite intelligent, so obedience training comes easily to them. And they learn quickly, especially when it comes to one subject in particular, tricks. Maybe it's the attention they get when they perform tricks that motivates them to learn more. Whatever the reason, you'll be glad they're so good at it, as your family and friends will appreciate an option other than TV or digital media to keep them entertained. Mutts are the MVPs, most valuable pups of the easy dog breeds, large or small. First of all, they're easy to get. You can just go to your local animal shelter or rescue and for a small fee adopt a mixed breed pup in need of a forever home. Or if the stars align correctly, you might just find yourself in the right place at the right time to rescue an abandoned pup. Mutts also tend to be healthier than purebred dogs. A wider gene pool makes for fewer hereditary illnesses and infirmities. And if you're into surprises, there's no dog better. You never know what traits and quirks your mutt may have inherited from their parents. Not so fun fact. Mutts make up about 75% of shelter dogs. So when someone adopts a shelter mutt, they're opening up their home and heart to a pup who needs both. As they say, adopt, don't shop. You're going to want to watch these videos too. Might as well hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And as always, Catch you next time.